What's up everyone, Josh here with another Half-Ass Beer Review, and tonight we are drinking trash. Now, uh, trash by trash, I mean this. This is a can of Fat Orange Cat Trick or Treat Kittens. This is a double IPA with candy corn and artificial flavors, 8% ABV, brewed and canned by Fat Orange Cat, North Haven, Connecticut. Check out the can art on this. Bunch of, bunch of candy corn, bunch of cats all in their Halloween attire, and candy corn. Candy corn is the most hated Halloween candy, I think, right? I think just, I think the cheapness of it and getting it, you never get it in a bag, right? It's always just like mixed in with stuff. That's why it, it's shady. That's what it is. Let's check out this beer. Let's crack it, let's pour it, look at it, smell it, taste it, see if it's any good. This bugger's hazy, a little bit of haze, but it is Connecticut, right? So they don't even have to call it a New England IPA, do they? Because it is New England and it is an IPA. It's hazy, it's light, it's pretty looking. Look at that hat, just a little bit off white, almost like a eggshell, a little bit of cream. Ooh, nice, big, big hop aroma to this. Oh man, a little bit of that citrusness in there. There are some pretty interesting characters on here. We got Jason, we got a witch, we got a vampire, shark, Freddy Krueger, skeleton, Frankenstein, an alien, a pumpkin, a mummy, Frank, the bride of Frankenstein, the Grim Reaper, and then just like a black cat kind of hanging out in the background. That's cool, though. I don't know why I got distracted by that can art. Probably because it's pretty cool can art. Shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out to Fat Orange Cat for all their cool can art and all their cans. It's got to be the same artist that does all of it, right? But yeah, this beer smells awesome. I don't smell any candy corn on it. I doubt if I'm going to taste any candy corn in it. I don't know how good candy corn in your IPA is going to be. Can you blame me? I can't imagine if we were to take a poll of a million people and say, hey... Uh, do you think candy corn in an IPA would be good? I guarantee at least 90% would say no. Sounds like trash because candy corn is trash. Let's try this beer. As always, on Half Ass Beer Review, we do little drink, big drink. Cheers, everybody. At 8% ABV. You can tell it's 8% ABV. And you can kind of tell that there's candy corn in it. And what, what does candy corn taste like anyway, except just like sugar? But uh, this is tasting like uh, there's candy corn in this IPA. A little bit of citrusness, again, a little bit of that hop, not too bitter. It's actually very smooth. The only thing that's kind of like off-putting, and it's not bad. They, like It doesn't ruin the flavor of the beer at all. It's just like the sweetness from the candy corn that they put in it. Look at that lacing. That's just special, isn't it? Yeah. Gotta say, this beer isn't that bad. Actually, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. I keep moving this around. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what to do with my hands. This beer is good. Like this beer is uh for there being candy corn in this double New England IPA, 8% ABV. It's drinking like it's 8% ABV. I can definitely tell when I'm drinking that it's 8% ABV. But there's a nice sweetness to it, and it's smooth. The hoppiness is there. There's a slight bitterness there. A little bit of citrus. Uh, solid. It goes down easy, uh, especially for eight. You can tell it's eight, but you just want to keep drinking more of it again and again and again. I've taken a couple drinks. I'm going to take another drink. <laughs> it's, 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 it's surprising to me that you can do this with an IPA, uh, but I guess if anybody could do it, it would be Fat Orange Cat because... I don't think I've ever been let down by them. This might be the first IPA I've had from them, though. I usually stick to their, their Fat Orange Cat sours, their walkabout sours. But I, I was told they do really good beer and really good IPAs, and yeah, this, I mean, this is solid. Would I ever buy this beer again? I gotta say, yes, I would. I'd probably buy the whole four-pack next time. 
Uh, it is, yes, it's novelty. It's kind of a shtick, but it's good. And it's something you can like joke about with your friends when they say, hey, can I have a beer? It's Halloween time. And you, you pull this one out and you give it to them. And like, what? Candy corn? Double IPA? And you're like, yup. Even if they don't like IPAs, it's still worth giving them one because I think this is solid, especially for it's not over the top bitter or anything like that. Like a lot of IPA haters don't like. It's what they don't like about their IPAs. And this doesn't have a lot of that. So I think this would be a solid one. Plus the novelty of the candy corn to really get them into it. Get them into the Halloween spirit. Maybe right before you go trick or treat and pound a bunch of these and terrorize the neighborhood. Uh, if I still rate a beer on this show, I, I got to say I'd rate this one like a uh, four, nine, five. It's right there at, the, at greatness. It's on the cusp of greatness. And it, it, might, it is great. It, it, it's a great IPA. It's definitely worth getting again. So I got to give it that solid five. But now that's going to do it for this episode of Half Ass Beer Review. Thank you all for stopping by and checking out a weird beer with me. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you had a good time. I know I did, but then again, I am the one that's getting to drink the new beer. Now, before you go, please do me a solid. Help out my friends, Seven Dungeons, on Twitch, Monday night, 7 o'clock for the best Dungeons and Dragons around, and my friends, Banter and Babble, Wednesday nights, 9 o'clock, on Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube for the best pop culture review. Things that are going on in the week when it comes to video games, movies, TV shows, they talk about it all, and it's a good time. The links are going to be down there. Make sure you check them out. Give them a follow, subscribe, whatever the hell you guys do. Make sure you go do it. It's a good time, I promise. But until next time, please keep your fridges full. Have a great night.